Okay, this is part two of the argumentative essay. So we're going to talk about evidence in the body paragraph. This is the same thing that we did with a literary analysis. So you're going to get the strongest piece of evidence out of your text. You're going to use word glue to make sure that your evidence support your topic sentence. You're going to make sure that your topic sentence supports your thesis statement. Remember, it must be cohesive. It must uh, all flow together. Again, you need to pick the evidence that's going to help you. It's going to assist you in proving your claims improving that you are right as well as the evidence that is going to disprove uh, the counterclaim i just talked to you about you know the best evidence make sure it's the best piece of evidence and again ask yourself is this the best piece of evidence what does this show uh, what does this mean think about same mean matter your conclu uh, conclusion paragraph, same thing, same thing you did with the literary analysis. You're going to rephrase your topic sentence, your thesis statement, and then you're going to reiterate or you're going to rephrase each topic sentence from each body paragraph. You're not going to add any new information in this concluding paragraph no new information so you're going to retell us what you've already told us here is your pre-work slide and this is uh, your assignment for the week so when you come to me you need to make sure that you have a body paragraph completed for this writing prompt. Uh, this writing prompt goes with the text that we had uh, read about uh, ju the juveniles being sentenced to life. I think I posted that in your Google Classroom. You should have that with you. So before you come to class on Monday or Tuesday, you need to have an introductory paragraph. This is your writing prompt. Remember, for your thesis statement, we just take the question, do you think people's backgrounds or past experiences excuse their heinous acts? You're going to take that, you're going to flip that into a statement. If you say yes, then what you're going to say to me is people, backgrounds, and or past experience should excuse their heinous acts. If you disagree, if you're like, no, uh, people's background and their past experience should not excuse their heinous acts, then that is what you're going to tell me people's backgrounds and or past experience should not, should not excuse their heinous acts. That will be your claim because that's your opinion, right? Now you're going to get, you're going to have to tell me uh, the evidence because, so again, if you say yes, yes, I think that people's backgrounds and past experience should excuse their heinous acts. Your uh, claim will read, people's backgrounds and or past experience experiences should excuse their heinous actions because I need reason one, reason two, and a reason three. Got it? All right. You should have this with you. This is what you're going to be using. So I want the introductory paragraph completed. You're going to give me the hook, context. Why is this important to my audience? This is the background information, okay? You're going to give me background information about the topic. 
Why should I know about this topic? And you're going to give me your thesis statement and your claim. Um, do not write on this sheet. What you can do is make this sheet on a single piece of notebook paper. So after you do your introductory paragraph, if you want to, and I will encourage you to, go ahead and start getting your two reasons, all right? Well, your three reasons, and then you're going to do your counterclaim. All right, you guys, have a good one. See you Monday, bright and early.